my name is Dominique Porti. I am a physician by training and uh, I am the president of the uh, Fondazione Piero Lucil Corti. Uh, Corti Foundation is a charity established in uh, 1993 to support the hospital in northern Uganda. The hospital is called Lachor Hospital. It is a missionary hospital and I was born there in 1962 because my parents, uh, Canadian surgeon Lucille Teasdale and Italian pediatrician uh, Piero Corti settled there in 1961 and dedicated their lives to developing this hospital. Uh, throughout its almost 60 years of existence, the hospital has had to face uh, very difficult times, uh, decades of a very vicious insurgency, uh, massive population displacement, uh, desperate poverty, and uh, terrifying disease outbreaks. We were in the midst of the LRA insurgency, which saw at the end of it in 2006 almost 2 million people displaced in northern Uganda, and uh, tens of thousands of night commuters, mostly uh, women and children, uh, seeking shelter for the night in safe places. We had never less than 3,000 people, but sometimes 10,000, 15,000 people coming in those years, mostly children and women, to sleep in the hospital grounds at night. We were also uh, one of the areas first affected by the um, HIV pandemic. My mother herself uh, was a surgeon, found herself uh, doing a lot of war casualties during those years, and so accidentally infected herself with the HIV virus, but continued to work in the hospital until her death in 1996. We were also in the area uh, where there was a massive uh, Ebola viral hemorrhagic fever outbreak in the year 2000, and uh, Dr. Matthew Luquia, a brilliant young Ugandan doctor who was our medical director at the time, uh, led the fight to contain the disease. And he and 12 other members of our staff died, giving their lives uh, on service uh, because they contracted the disease during their work. Lachor Hospital is now uh, one of the largest non-government, non-profit hospitals in, uh, in Equatorial Africa. It treats an average of 250,000 patients per year. Uh, 50,000 of these are admitted and the others are outpatients. 30% of patients are children under the age of six and children and women constitute 80% of the hospital's patients. All this activity is done by 600 members of staff who are all Ugandans, including the three directors. Lachor Hospital is also a major training center for health. Uh, we have over 500 resident students who study at the hospital's uh, nursing school, midwifery school, and other uh, technical uh, courses. And we are also a training center for the local Gulu government faculty of medicine. So we have about 200 medical students who come and train in the hospital's ward and classes. Uh, the hospital is the major employer uh, outside the government in Northern Uganda and in an area where not more than 10% of adult population has an employment. This means that uh, most of our staff maintain a very large extended family on their salary. So we have calculated also the social return that the hospital offers to the local area, apart from uh, treating people and training of uh, health staff, and uh, we, we have seen that for every euro donated to the hospital, there is an additional value, social value, multiplier effect of 2.5 in the surrounding community. Now, in the 80s, my parents found themselves in a situation where most of the population was getting poorer and poorer, 
most of the other training institutions and medical facilities were shutting down. And uh, so they decided to create a dedicated organization for the support of the hospital. This is why in 1993 they established the Corti Foundation, of which I'm president, in order to carry out fundraising and technical and logistic assistance for the hospital. The foundation has now become the major supporter of the hospital. My parents' dream was to offer the best possible care to the greatest number of people at the most affordable cost and also to train those who would have taken their place after their deaths. And uh, these are still the guidelines both of the hospital and of the foundation that we try to pursue day by day.